you will regret everlasting regret why because our prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam who is rahma lil alamin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said allah testified وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ O Prophet of Allah, you were sent as mercy for humanity. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction guys, we want to thank everybody out there for subscribing to our channel for hitting that notification button to you know be the first person to check our videos and most importantly we want to thank everybody who helps us to get to 6,000 subscribers you're the realest MVP man so let's get to 10,000 subscribers in two days yeah. very possible we're gonna to get to 10,000 guys and we are heading there and we are making sure that we want to get everybody into 10,000 subscribers and trust me, we're gonna get that in two days. So anyway guys, now we're gonna do another reaction and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to the scary part about Ramadan must watch. There's an emphasis towards the end, must watch. So anyway guys, without any further ado, let's get it. I love you Why is it that this Ummah is dealing with this month in negligence? Why is it that we're not serious when this month comes? So yes, I agree with all of you and I'm sure all of you know this, that this month is the month of mercy, the month of Rahmah, the month of forgiveness. Rewards are multiplied, Allahu Akbar. But today, I have a slightly different message for all of you. This month, my brothers, Yes, we agreed is the month of mercy. But forgive me for this statement that I will make. It can also be the month of wrath. It can also me be the month of anger from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It can also be the month that you will regret everlasting regret. Why? Because our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is rahma lil alameen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah testified, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ O Prophet of Allah, you were sent as mercy for humanity. There's a very, very, very dangerous hadith. In this hadith, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, رَغِمَ أَنْفُهُ May he be disgraced. What? Who's talking here? Who's speaking here? The Prophet of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who had mercy for his own enemies. He had mercy for the enemies of Islam, had mercy in his heart for the pillars of kufr, the pillars of animosity to this deen, he had mercy for them. Yet our Prophet in this hadith says, may he be disgraced. The Prophet of Allah is cursing someone. Have you ever been cursed in this world by a pious person? You know, sometimes your pious mother or your pious father or your pious sheikh that you know gets angry with you and says, you know what, like Allah, before he finishes, you jump, say, please stop. Mom, Allah, please don't say anything. Don't, don't say anything, you know, please. Because you're afraid this person's dua is accepted. This person's supplication is accepted by Allah. Please don't say anything. Well, the Prophet of Allah says, May he be disgraced. May he be disgraced. May he be disgraced. Who, a Prophet of Allah? He who lives until Ramadan. May he be disgraced, this Muslim that lives until Ramadan and yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive him. 
in the other narration إِذَا لَمْ يُغْفَرْ لَهُ فِيهِ فَمَتَى If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive you in Ramadan, then when? When? When will Allah forgive you? If in this season of rahmah and mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is accepting severe sinners, Allah is accepting them, forgiving their sins, raising their ranks, converting their bad deeds to good deeds. If Allah does not forgive you then, then when will Allah forgive you? This is why my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the gates of mercy and opens the gates of rahmah for his slaves, but the slave insists on neglecting Allah, what is the result? Is the result me loss of rewards? Does this person lose in reward? Like many of us think, well, if I don't go hard in Ramadan, I will just miss out on some reward. No, my brother and sister. If you do not act in this month, if you do not race in this month as is, as is expected from you, the result can be the wrath of Allah. The result can be the curse of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam falling on you. So this month is the month of mercy. This race is the race of success, but not competing in this race or neglecting this race can also mean the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. message I think it's tough it's, um, it's talking about like Ramadan can be sorry um, how can I put it because remember someone in the comment section said Canada is about what um, about patience yeah and other stuff patience um, good endurance um, yeah, she said, I don't hear she said those things anyway, but I, I would say according to what the guy was saying, I think it's, he was trying to say that, um, this is what but I think scary part of, about Ramadan. Yeah, I think what he's saying shouldn't only apply to maybe Muslims, it can be applied to daily lives. Yeah, yeah. Because he's pretty much talking about someone maybe waiting to Ramadan to, yeah, to, to yeah, do maybe yeah. a good deal or something. Exactly. Like it shouldn't be just in that 30 days. I mean, after 30 days, you can still do good deeds after that. But it's just not, I have to wait for that one month so they can be holy and try to be um, righteous. I mean, it doesn't make sense. According to what probably he was saying. And also um, he said that it can be a wrath. Maybe thinking that probably this is the only way to to be merciful and whatnot. Because you see, the thing is, you might consequences be, to everything. Yeah, you might be doing the bad things, and then you're waiting on on that particular day. Because today may be holy for you, and you say, okay, tomorrow I'll do a good thing. Yeah. Tomorrow may never come. Yeah. Or maybe imagine like you're this kind of a bad person. And then you're, on, you, you, you're waiting for this day so that you can, you can try to be a good person. And then after that, you go back to a bad person. So probably when you come to this holy month, probably it can't be a wrath for you because uh, Allah can, you say Allah can what? Not forgive can, you? Yeah, not forgive you or will not forgive you or something like that. I mean, it's a good message. We shouldn't, um, I mean, it shouldn't be it's just pretty about much the basics of life. Yeah, basics of, of life. Basic yeah. principles of life. Just learn to be. I like the way people are really disciplined when it comes to Ramadan. But why can't we put the same uh, effort? Apply the same. Uh, discipline. Yeah, apply the same discipline and every day. to other disciplines or whatever thing that you're trying to do. I mean, it's gonna be so amazing. Uh, what do you think? It's a good message. Yeah, it is a really good message. Anyway, guys, if you feel that we react to this morning, like. Uh, 
Anyway, guys, if you feel like we react to this message in a better way, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about um, this video right here and what you feel about our reaction. Just let us know in the comment section. Tell us what you think about this guy part of Ramadan. And if you have any kind of reaction, just let us know in the comment section and we're gonna do it for you. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. Another important thing, guys, we want to thank all the people out there once again for subscribing to our channel. And if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jessie. She's my girlfriend and we do a lot of videos. Mostly we do our reaction videos. We also do vlogging. And we put a question out there, what do you want us to do the most? Most of the people talked of? The reactions. Most of the people want us to react. So anyway, we are thinking. We were thinking of opening a channel whereby it can be optional for you to go and check out our vlog or stuff like that. I mean, um, well, that was still in the way to that. Yeah, we're still, we're still thinking about it for yet to decide. Yeah, still in the kitchen. So, but anyway, if you make that decision, we want everybody to go and subscribe to the channel. channel but meanwhile, just keep on subscribing here. And yeah, thank you so much. Let's keep the suggestions coming. Yeah, keep the suggestion coming and we're gonna do it for you. We will never skip anything. We're here to do like all your reactions, like for sure. Anyway guys, last but not the least, we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out.